welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you my food packing. show you my food packing but before I do if you are new to my channel then hello and welcome it's lovely to have you here and if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more then I upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday at 7 a.m. so please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so as I've just mentioned today I want to show you my food packing now I'm a celiac and that means basically I'm allergic to gluten. So sometimes when we go on holiday, I can find it very difficult to eat out of places. So I like to take something with me to make sure I have something for the journey. Also, about four years ago, I gave up processed food and sugars. So I also like to have something with me just in case there isn't anything for me to eat when we arrive at the destination. Also, I like to pack these types of foods as well because I'm never sure whether the supermarkets down there will stock them or not. So I thought I'd show you today what I like to take with me when we go on holiday. So the first food I wanted to show you that I like to take with me when we go on holiday is dried fruit. So I like to take dates and if we go out for the day, I like to keep a couple of these in a Tupperware box just to have with me just in case I get a bit peckish before lunch or if I want an afternoon snack. I also like to take raisins. These are really good fillers in between meals, I find. And soft prunes are really good as well. Sometimes I take apricots and dried figs as well. But I think I'm just going to stick with these. And I will take these two packets with me, but I'll probably decant this glass jar into a smaller box into like a tupperware box to take with me so the next food item i like to take with me is porridge um, i like to have porridge for my breakfast so i like to have it every other day so i'll have porridge or eggs we're going to stay in a holiday home with some friends so when we get down there we'll buy things like eggs all the fresh stuff we need we'll buy when we get down there the reason i take these is they're gluten free and I'm never sure whether I can find gluten-free oats in the supermarkets down there. So I always take a couple of bags of those with me. So the next item I'm going to take is oat milk. Um, I take this obviously to have with the porridge. I also don't eat a lot of dairy either. So I like to take a couple of these with me for porridge and for pancakes and for smoothies if I fancy one as well. That's always really handy. And again, I'm never sure whether the supermarkets when we get to our destination we'll sell things like this so I always like to have a couple of these in the in the boot of the car as well and then this year this is the first time I'm going to take these these are sweet potato crackers but they are gluten free they're absolutely yummy and I've only ever seen them in Costco so I know that I can't get these in the supermarket and they make a fantastic snack they also make a really good addition to a um, to a packed lunch as well. There's not really anything too bad in them as well. And they are quite filling as well. So I really like, I'm really pleased that we've found these. And I'm really pleased that I can take them on holiday with me. I'm not gonna take this whole box. There are two bags inside here. And I'll just take one of the bags from in here. And I've got some gluten-free pasta as well. Um, I've got some green pea fusilli pasta. Uh, I love having this. This is really delicious and it's 100% green pea flour as well. There's no chemical nasties in this. So I'm really pleased that Sainsbury's now do this. I know that there's not a Sainsbury's when we get to our destination in Devon. So I thought I'd take this with me. Um, and pasta is a really handy lunch to have. It also makes a really quick dinner in the evening as well. So I'm gonna take a bag of this for me. I've also got some local honey. As I gave up sugar and processed food, I don't really eat refined sugars, but I do love having honey. Um, we have this on pancakes. Ted will have this on toast in the morning. Um, and I much prefer having local honey than I do like branded honey from the supermarket. 
Branded honey from the supermarket is normally a mix of honeys from all over the world, whereas this is just one honey. So we really like having this. And it is actually good to have local honey in your local area. Um, they say it stops things like hay fever, but there's no actual scientific evidence for that. But uh, yes, they do say it stops things like hay fever. So I definitely like having this when we go. I also have this in porridge as well. And when we're in places, we also try and see if we can find local honeys as well, because we do like to buy local too. And the next thing that I always like to take with me is nuts. Um, this is just a bag we bought from the Real Food Source Company. Um, I'm not gonna take this whole bag. I'm probably gonna decant these into a Tupperware box. And I do have other nuts in the cupboard as well, like Brazil nuts and cashews that I will probably also decant into a couple of Tupperware boxes and take them with me. These are also great for snacks, but also I normally make pesto out of this, and pesto makes a great sort of uh, topping for a pasta, so it's a great meal to have as well. And pine nuts are also really filling as well, so I like taking these with me on holiday. And then I'll probably take some of these rice cakes as well, because these are always handy to have as a snack in between meals and things. Um, these are gluten-free again, and again, I'm never sure whether I can get gluten-free rice cakes in the supermarket, so that's why I always like to take some with me when we go. These I think I bought from Aldi, and they were actually quite cheap as well, so if I can find them, I will link them in the description box below for you. They were a bit bargainous, I have to say, um, and yeah, they're just really handy. You can have honey on them. You can have Marmite as well. You can even have jam if you wanted to. Oh, and nut butters are really good on these as well. So yes, I will pack some of these. And then I have these bee free, bee wheat and gluten free sweet potato wraps. Um, they're made to look like they're all sweet potato, uh, but I don't think they are. They have lots of different ingredients in them. They have lots of uh, flowers in them, but there's nothing too bad in them, which is why I bought them. Um, and these I thought would make great sandwiches for me. So I'll probably fill these with like avocado or chickpeas or something. I may take a tin of chickpeas with me because they're always handy to have in the cupboard as well. Um, so yes, I thought these would be good for packed lunches if we go out anywhere or if we have lunch at home, one of these would be really nice to have. So I'm gonna pack these as well. So I'm also going to pack some chickpeas, as I just said. And also, I do put this in, I make this into a hummus, but I also um, put these in the oven and I sprinkle herbs and spices over the top and I add a bit of olive oil and bake them off and that becomes a really light, nice snack as well. Um, I have done a recipe on that and I will link that in the description box below for you. But yes, definitely packing chickpeas as well. So I'm also going to pack this big olive oil as well. We are cooking this year, so we will need a lot of olive oil probably. I think we're cooking for about 21 people. So we're definitely gonna need this olive oil. But this is also handy to have to make for pesto and also to cook with as well. So if I wanted to cook my dinner, I think on the first night, Ted and I will probably have sausage, chips and beans. And um, I'm going to take this to cook the chips with. So yes, this is definitely handy to have when I go traveling. I'll show you what I'm gonna pack for Ted as well, because some of these things I can eat as well. So he really likes these rice cakes and I can eat these. These are actually gluten free. So definitely gonna pack some of these. These are apple and mango and he loves these. So we're gonna take some of those for Ted. And then these naked posh bits are really good if you are slightly hungry in between meals. Um, this is a great snack. They also make bars of these as well, and they do lots of different flavors of the bars. So these are really handy to take with you when you're traveling. And also these are really good to have in the car as well. If you're traveling a long way and you know you're not gonna stop for ages, these are definitely a great snack to have and they're not too unhealthy either. It does have a hint of natural flavoring. So that could mean sugar, but um, it's only a little bit, so so yes, definitely a good thing to have when traveling, these are. And then for Ted, we have this Panda Natural Licorice. Um, unfortunately, I can't eat this because it does have gluten in it, 
but Ted really loves his licorice and so does my husband. And again, these are really handy to have in the car while you're traveling as well. If you just want a little snack in between meals, then this is great to have. It's also really good for you, but don't eat too much of it because you might be on the toilet for quite a long time. That's all I say. Um, but yes, definitely a handy snack to have when you go traveling. And then Ted also really likes having cheese and crackers. So he likes having a bit of cream cheese on one of these multi-grain crackers. As I said earlier, when we finally reach our destination, we'll get our fresh stuff from the supermarket. So anything like cream cheese and milk and eggs, we'll go to the supermarket to get. But these I thought I'd take with me, just in case we can't get anything similar down there. These are his favorites and he really likes these. So I want him to feel at home when he goes down there. Again, I can't eat these because these are gluten, obviously, but they are great. They are a great snack for kids. So I thought I'd include it in this video. And finally, another item that I thought is great for traveling, especially with children, are these bear yo-yo rolls. We call them bear rolls in this house. I think people call them something different. But um, yes, Ted loves these. He normally has a couple of these a day, actually. I don't know if that's naughty or not, but all it is is just basically pure fruit and veg dried out in the oven, and then they, make, they roll it up. So they cut it up and they roll it up into rolls. And Ted really loves these. So I thought I'd take some of these with me and also I can eat these. So if we are stuck in the car in any traffic or anything and I get a bit peckish, I can also have some of these as well. So, and that's all of the food we're taking with us. So that's the food that we like to take with us when we travel and that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And please feel free to leave any comments below. Do you like to take food with you when you travel? And what sort of food do you take? I'd love to know. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.